What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a circle face cam border in Photoshop. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see, this is some gameplay for my gaming channel, and I have a circle face cam. I've already set it out, and this is in Sony Vegas. So what I'm going to be doing is taking a snapshot. I'm going to save this to my desktop, and this step is completely optional. If you don't even have your face cam position set up just yet, then you can skip ahead. So as you can see here is the screenshot I've just dragged it into Photoshop. And the first thing we're going to do is head over here to the shapes. We're going to drag out and we're going to select the ellipse tool. Now come up here to the top and where it says fill, you want to change this to transparent by pressing this button right here. The stroke is going to be the outline of the border or the face cam border. So for this, let's maybe go for a white and we can put the size of it up here. So maybe um, seven for now. And you can also change the style of it. So you can have it dotted uh, here or you can have it little dashes or just one straight circle. So now hold shift and drag out. And as you'll see, you'll be able to get a circle just like that. And this is what you're gonna get. Remember we picked a white as the outline and then we also pick 7.3 so as you can see if we put this up that's what it's going to look like so you can change it from here as well so now i'm going to come to the move tool and i'm just going to position this into place so we don't have to worry about it later on so as you can see it is currently a bit too big so we're going to press ctrl t and we're going to hold shift and alt and it's going to bring it smaller like that and that's good enough for me i can press enter on my keyboard and now we have our face cam set out now, of course, we're not going to be done there because we can add some effects to it. So we can come here and maybe add another stroke. And as you'll see, it gives us this nice effect. So the reason why the stroke is like this is because we first of all had the shape color white and then we add a stroke on top of it. So it's added a black border inside and outside, which looks pretty nice. Another thing you can do is add an inner glow. Again, this looks nice too. So we set this to normal, as you can see. It changes the color like so and of course if we change the size you can see you can choose how faint you want the color on top of that we have a color overlay a gradient overlay gradient overlay is probably going to be the most popular here as you can see it looks really nice um so yeah we can make a custom one here so let's change the first color and we'll make this a cyan we'll make the middle a bit darker and basically we're just going to make it darker and darker so it looks like a nice faded blue and of course dark all the way up here like that as you can see it starts off light here and goes darker just like that and of course here we can add an outer glow if you want to completely optional to me personally I believe the outer glow makes it look a bit messy but of course it is up to you we're actually done so we can select ok and now what we need to do we need to come to the background uncheck this padlock and delete it this is what you're going to be left with come to file save as and let's just save this to the desktop and this is important, it needs to be saved as a PNG. From there, select save, OK. And now I'm going to just minimize this, and it's right here. I'm going to drag this back onto our Sony Vegas file. So of course, I need to drag and drop it. It does need to be above the face cam itself. And if I just put this in position and spread it across the timeline, as you can see, we've just created ourselves a circle face cam border. And I've just set that to good and auto here. So as you can see, we can play through it and it's going to stay there the entire time. Just like that, very simple to do, and of course that looks very nice. So of course the popular thing will probably be a stroke to add on and a gradient on top. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.